So I know a lot of people have been requesting for me to make a tutorial on voice meter and basically in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to set up voice meter potato. Now I know a lot of people do use voice meter banana and you know that does work sometimes but I know there are a lot of issues so I'm going to show you guys how I set up my voice meter which I believe is probably the best way of setting it up. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is to download voice meter potato. So you're going to want to scroll down, click install here. Now I'll have the links in the description. Um, you're going to also want to download VB cable A and cable B. Now you do have to pay, I believe it's about four and a half US dollars uh, for the P1 license. So I would recommend, you know, buying that. Um, it is the best way to set up voice meter. Um, you know, this is just software. It's nothing physical that comes in the mail. So once you have this downloaded as well as the cables, um, you're going to want to install them. So I'm going to go to where I have them installed at. And so you're going to want to click on the voice meter setup, right click, run as an administrator. Now I'm not going to do that because I haven't installed already. Just open that up, install it, reboot your computer. And then after that, you're going to want to open up the virtual cable A and virtual cable B. Now you're going to want to make two folders here. I'll first, um, going to do cable A and then also cable B. Okay. So you're going to want to open that up to extract that. I'm going to extract into cable A. And then for cable B, I'm going to extract it into the cable B folder just so they're separate. Uh, so I'm going to open up cable A. I'm going to click on that, right click, extract here. I'm going to scroll down, go to VB cable setup x64, right click, and remember, run it as admin. It'll give you an error if you don't do that. Run as admin. Now I have it installed, so it's going to say remove. Um, for you guys, just click install, close it out. Uh, move on to cable B. Right click, extract here. Scroll down, VB cable setup x64 again. Run as admin. Install the B cable now. After that is done, uh, I would recommend restarting your computer. Now the next thing I would recommend is to go into control panel, go to hardware and sound. Now when I click sound, my audio might end up being choppy. I don't know why Windows does that, but um, it's only while this window's open sometimes. So if you go to playback, they're gonna wanna go to cable A, go to properties, advanced. You're gonna wanna make sure 16-bit 4800 hertz is selected. Make sure it's DVD quality, not, nothing else, not studio, not CD, but make sure it's DVD. Click apply, okay. Do that for cable B, you know, same thing. Uh, apply, okay. Um, I'm not using these three in this tutorial, so you just ignore those. Um, then also you're gonna wanna do aux input, properties, advanced. 16-bit, 4800 hertz DVD quality. You're gonna wanna do it for this one as well. And then you're gonna wanna do it for this last one, advanced. Same thing again, apply, okay. Now you're going to want to click on A and make sure it's default recording. You're going to want to go to um, cable A, advanced. Make sure it's two channel, 16 bit, 4800 hertz DVD quality. Don't do one channel, otherwise your audio might become mono and not stereo. So click OK, do that for cable B, advanced, two channel, and so on. Now scroll down, make sure to do it for aux output. Same settings again. Do it for this one as well. Apply, okay. And then VIO3 again. Make sure it's the same thing, apply, okay. Um, any other mics you run through voice meter, whether it's your desktop or whatever mic you're using for VR, um, you know, make sure that mic is also set correctly. Now not every mic will allow you to change this. Some of them might be grayed out. Um, but just make sure you have it on, um, you know, 
for me, I've been running it at studio quality. I haven't had any issues, but it's always best to have it matched. So just do one channel, 16 bit, 4800 hertz. Apply, okay. Um, and it's okay if it's one channel because microphones are mono. They're not stereo, so that's fine. One channel for the mic is fine. Uh, so you're going to want to exit that out. Now you're going to want to go and click your Windows Sound or your Windows Start button. Type in Sound Settings. App Volume. Uh, now you're going to want to go to whichever app you're using to play music and that you want routing through the mic. So for example, if you want YouTube through like Google Chrome, uh, you're going to want to go to Chrome, select Cable B. Now, and then for Spotify, I also use that. So I'm going to do Cable B again. Now, you may not have your browser or Spotify show up. And to fix that, all you have to do is just play a song for like one second. You can just play it, pause, and then it'll pop up. Once it pops up, make sure it's Cable B under Output, which Output is the first one. The second one doesn't matter. After that, you could exit that out. Now we'll open a voice meter, um, click vo uh, Windows Start button, um, do voice meter potato. I'm gonna use X64 because my computer is 64 bit. Uh, okay, so I have this already set up. Um, now, I will provide you guys my setting file. Um, so I'll have that in the description as a download. All you have to do is click menu, load settings, click Jordan VR if you downloaded my settings and everything should mostly be set up. Just make sure everything looks okay. And I'm going to continue to manually go over all this. So you're going to want to go to menu, go to system settings slash options. Make sure this is on 48. So click on it, select 4,800, exit that. Now you're going to want to make sure this first strip is cable A output, WDM cable A. Second one, cable B, WDM. And then also, this is my desktop mic, so um, I have that selected there. Now, this is my VR mic, and it's red because my headset is currently turned off. Um, so all you have to do is, you know, turn your Steam VR on or whatever, and it should pop up there. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to open up... Steam VR, just so I could show you guys how to change the settings uh, in Steam VR. Uh, I'll go ahead and open that up really quick. Okay, so um, before I get to that, I do want to say, um, you know, to play music in the mic, um, now that you have like all of this set up, um, you're going to want to like also make sure your headphones are selected. So go to hardware out, select whatever you're using for this tutorial. I'm using my AirPod Maxes, but you're going to want to select like index, for example, or whatever you're using for your headphones. After that is done, um, make sure all of these buttons are set correctly. So make sure the ones that are gray are gray and the ones that are green are green. Um, and then also, you can apply a gate right here. Basically, this just makes your mic not pick up sound as easily. So it takes more volume before the mic actually turns on. Um, so um, for the index, I just have mine on 1.3. And, you know, if you want to, like, play music in your mic, um, all you have to do is... Well, first, you're going to want to go in your settings, make sure VR chat is set to VIO 3. Now that VR chat is set to VIO 3, if you were to play music in your mic, all you have to do is click this, click B3. Now, when you play music, this will light up. And whenever B3 is selected under this second one, then music's playing in the mic. Then when you turn it off, it's not playing in the mic. Um, there are some shortcuts too, which if you click a menu, uh, let me turn that off, turn it back on. Um, make sure run macro buttons is turned on and this window should pop up. Now it'll only be like maybe one square. So just drag 
go to the edge, drag it. And for the first one, right click on it, name it. I have mine music toggle, change button type from push to two positions. And then for request for button on, put this in. I'll have this in the description so you can easily copy and paste it. And then for the other one, request for button off, do this one as well. Click OK. Now for the second one, uh, I named it music, no mic, push to two position. Um, and then I have all of these strips in here. And basically what this will do is it creates two shortcuts. Now, when you have this one on, you can see this automatically activates B3. So you don't even need voice meter open, like the full screen. You could just mess with the buttons. You could have it on your overlay. So you can see when I click this, it'll totally, you know, turn on B3 for you. So it'll play music in the mic. Um, if you turn on this one, this will play music in the mic, but it'll also mute your desktop and VR mic. So you could play music in the mic, but not have your voice go through. So you can see how the buttons will change when I do that. And my audio will probably cut out. Um, it might not, it might not cut out in the recording, but in game it'll cut out. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I could actually show you that. You could see how my mic stops going in game. And if I'm playing music, which I'm not going to play right now for copyright reasons, um, it'll be playing, but your mic will be muted. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you're going to just want to make sure your uh, VR chat's under voice meter VIO 3. And then for Discord, um, make sure voice meter output is on. And also make sure cable A input is on for output. So think as voice meter output as a mic and cable A as like headphones or speakers. Um, you can also use VIO3, um, but I recommend using voice meter output because what I just showed you um, basically separates your music from your game to Discord. So... If you're playing music in game, it won't be blaring it if you're in like a Discord call. But um, that pretty much wraps it up. There is another thing that I can show you guys too, which is um, so these are like your fader sliders. Now, if your index is under A1, so think as my AirPods is the index headphones. If you want the music playing, but it's too loud for you, but you don't want it to be um like that loud for so like basically if you want to turn down the music for you but you want the audio to everybody else to be the same so have it, it be like louder you just turn down this and this will locally make it quieter for you but not for everybody else um there's some other things in voice meter too if you guys want to know how to use them uh you know or if you have any other questions, just, you know, ask in my Discord server or just private message me on Discord or comment in my YouTube video. Um, and if you ha do you have any audio issues, you can instead cable A output. You could also try like MME or KS under cable A. And you could also do that for cable B. You could change to MME or maybe your... Um, your microphones that's only if you have any like crackling or popping but before going that route um i would try going into task manager and go to details and if you go to audio dg if you right click on it set it to high default it'll be normal set it to high now if this works then let me know in the comments and i can make another video on how to make that stay on high like all the time regardless if you restart your computer or not but um that pretty much wraps it up for the video um if you guys have any other questions just let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope this helped you guys set up voice meter